Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Today we're going to learn about a remote desktop application called Jump Desktop from jumpdesktop.com. Remote desktop applications allow you to control one computer from another, from within a network, or even from outside of the network. Jump Desktop works on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Windows, and Android. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the Mac and iOS devices, but it's great that Jump Desktop is cross-platform. You might be wondering what kind of problems you can solve with an application like Jump Desktop. Let's say you have an iPad, but you need to do something on your Mac. With Jump Desktop, you can connect to your Mac from inside your home network or from anywhere in the world and have full control of the Mac right from the iPad. It's like having the best of both worlds when you're only carrying the iPad. Let's say you have a Mac, but you'd like to control other Macs. Maybe you have a headless Mac Mini running Plex. You can log into your Mac Mini using another Mac and have full control as though you're sitting right in front of it. Perhaps you do remote support for friends and family or for your business. Jump Desktop will allow you to log in and control other computers from your Mac, iPad, or even your iPhone. Jump encrypts the connection between computers to ensure privacy and security. Automatic connections are always encrypted by default. We're going to be talking about two distinct applications here. One is called Jump Desktop, and this is the application that is required to allow you to control other computers from either your Mac or your iPad or your iPhone. This is a paid for app. Separate from that, there's an app called Jump Desktop Connect. This is an application you put on computers you want to control from your own devices. This is a free app, and we'll walk through why it's there and the function that it provides. Jump Desktop for Mac OS is available for $29.99 US, either from the Mac App Store, or you can get it directly from jumpdesktop.com. Jump Desktop is also available with your Setapp subscription from setapp.com. Jump Desktop for iOS is $14.99 US, and of course it's in the iOS App Store. We need to understand a few terms before we get started in the tool Jump Desktop. The first is RDP. This stands for Remote Desktop Protocol, and this is Microsoft's proprietary protocol that they've built into Windows Server and Windows Professional. This is not a core feature of Windows Home. We will be ignoring RDP altogether because we're not talking about Windows today. The next protocol is called VNC, and that stands for Virtual Network Computing. This is an open source standard for remote desktop. It's easy to use within the local network with Jump Desktop, but accessing VNC outside the local network in a secure way, encrypted, actually requires very advanced networking skills. You need to set up a VPN and do port forwarding and or set up an SSH server, well beyond what most users want to do. We will take a look at VNC, but the real excitement will come in when we take a look at Fluid. Fluid is Jump's own remote desktop protocol. It's encrypted, so it's safe to use across the internet. It also adapts for the best user experience, depending on your network speed, and it can adapt real time. In order to create a Fluid connection, it does require Jump Desktop Connect on the remote computer. As I mentioned before, that's free, so you can install it on as many computers as you need. Okay, that's enough vocabulary words. Let's start using Jump Desktop. I'm on a 9.7 inch iPad Pro and I've done a simple search for Jump Desktop in the App Store. I've already installed it, so let me tap open. When Jump first opens, you'll see a gear in the upper left that will allow us to change some settings. We have two options for how to list out the machines that we've connected to that we've saved, but we don't have any yet. On the right hand side, you'll see a plus and that's to add a saved connection. But right now we're gonna start with a quick connect where we're just gonna enter some information and attempt to connect. Let me tap the eyeball. You'll see that this has defaulted the type to VNC and that's what we want. I'm gonna to try to connect to a 12 inch MacBook on my network. I know the IP address and I will type that in in a moment, but I'm actually gonna show you how this will fail. And it's an important lesson to know what you need to do to get it to work on your network. So I'll put in the IP address now and I'll tap connect. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.